welcome back to Angie's Creative Studio. I'm Angie. Today we are going to do a 10 by 12 colored pencil and I am doing it on a loose print paper and I am using the Fable, Fable Castell Classic Colonel. I will put a deal up in the edge of the video. And I am going to do a sunset or sunrise. I think it's a sunset. And I've got, I've already drawn it out. And I know y'all can't see it because it's so. But I've got rocks down here, mountains, and the sun. And I am going to start out with yellow and then just go on. And I may be quiet. I don't know. I am just trying to get the videos done today. And uh, this is one that I've been wanting to do, just ain't done it. Now I'm going to start out with yellow. And I'm not for sure how this is going to come out on newsprint. I have never used newsprint, so this is going to be a review, I guess, on newsprint also. I've called, I mean, I've, I've used it just to draw on, but not nothing like this. And now I'm going to just get lighter and lighter with my yellow. And just kind of fade it out. The higher I go, the less I'm pressure I'm putting. Well, I say here because you can use to extend your pencil and just like this don't give me as much pressure as I was having. It kind of controls my pencil. I mean, the lightness of my pencil, just like doing oils. That's why you have the long, I mean, this is why I was told, I don't know. Right now I'm going to come down here and I'm going to start out holding the yellow. going to start holding it with the extend, extend them. and I'll speed this up where y'all can see what I'm doing. And I will have, I can do a drawing I will have a uh, drawing of this on my uh, blog for y'all if y'all want one. I mean, it's pretty simple. I don't have a reference. I'm just kind of doing this in my head. What goes up here comes down here 90% of the time. 
just just know that <sighs> okay I am taking 316 uh, at orange and like I said you can use any colors I mean any color pencils you have uh, I'm just using these because that's what I had out on my desk Tell you the truth. And my pencil may not erase or get out. If not, I'll take an eraser and erase it. No big deal. I'll probably have to go in and redo it anyways. And then I'm just going back down here. And I don't want a whole lot of orange in me in my sunset. And I just coming down here. Okay, now I'm going in with the orange, and I'm going to press down pretty hard and make streaks, just like so. Okay, now I'm taking 326, the red, and I am, I have to sharpen it before I do anything. And now I'm going back in and I'm just going to get as close as I can to that sun and get all the, I mean, I'm gonna, I want the sun to pop on this red. And I'm holding down, I mean, I'm putting pressure down pretty good, but the further away from the sun I go, the less pressure I'm getting. Now, like I said, I like to work with a sharp colored pencils. Uh, you don't have to. I mean, that's what I prefer. I, I, they seem to work better for me. Um, some people says don't sharpen them. I'm not like, sharpen. I mean, let's get a point on these. But I like even if I'm doing uh, graphite, I mean, if I'm writing with a pencil, I want it sharp. Okay, now I'm going in. I'm just going to go on up in the sky. And I'm getting lighter and lighter.
and what I said what is up here has to come down What are you doing, Daisy May? Okay. Now I am going to take a light pink and I'm going to do the rest of the sky. And I'm doing this semi horn. I probably have to sharpen this pink. Now, as I said, what's up here has to come down. And I'm going to get over the rocks because they they uh, going to be black, so it's no big deal to me. I just put the rocks on while I have a form kind of to go by when I get ready. Okay. Now, we are going in with like a ultramarina. It's 344 on with these uh, uh, dark blue. And where I put the pink and the blue, I mean, where I put the pink, I'm putting the blue. And for a mat, I am using, if anybody wants to know, is a cutting mat that comes out of the kitchen department at Dollar Tree. You get two of them for a buck. They make great palettes for watercolor and great palettes. I mean, great boards mats to put paper down when you need it. I'm just going to go in and use my blue and make highlights. Okay. 
And like I said, the mountains ain't that big of a deal to me. I mean, the mountains and the rocks is all going to be black. So, I'm just going to kind of give them a shadow. Okay, what is up here has to come down. And don't get mix this up with your yellow. Because what does yellow and blue do? Make green. I'm just going in and I'm just going in and just filling in places trying to make you know my clouds and different stuff up here in the sky I'm just and I'm using pretty good pressure with this paint I like these pencils, but I don't like them. <laughs> Does that make a lick of sense? For some things, I love these pencils. But if you want it bright and vibrant, these pencils is not for what you you want prism colors of my advice. I mean, they are just so much different. And I'm just going in, and I mean, I'm using pretty good pressure. And I'm just sliding my into the middle. Okay, now, this is the fun thing. I am going to use an automatic eraser, and this thing is the best thing that I polygraph. It's neat. Because it even erases the colored pencils off the stuff. But even with my circle, I mean, I kind of made it look like, you know, it's not exactly a, a circle. I kind of gave it a, what do you want to call it, a, oh, help me, folks, a, a sh different odd shape. Okay, now I'm going in with a black. And this one is the 399. that erase one again.
Now you don't have to do this on these print. You can use uh, you can use white cardstock. You can use Restore uh, a sketch pad, whatever you have. I just kind of want to see what it would do on here. Am I impressed? No. Sorry about getting my head in the way. Now I'm just going to go back over this because I want this really black. I thought I had to re-sharpen my pencil. And I'm putting down pretty good pressure on this. Now I'm going to go back and do the mountains. And I'm just doing the big circle.
Okay, now I'm going to add just the palm tree. above my mouth and this is all going to be black also and I'm going to reshuffle my black and I'm going to just focus in black Today, your leaves, you want your pinch of salt. Just go out. And just make sharp lines. I mean, I want it sharp, sharp, sharp. And all I've done, this time I've just sharpened the lead. Make it sharp. I'm going to have to sharpen it. Now y'all, yes, I'm wishing I was on the beach somewhere looking at the sunset. As long as it's cool. I don't want it hot. I mean, it's hot enough here in Arkansas that we've got the AC on. This is what takes the leaves on the palm tree takes the longest seems like. 
Right now, I'm just going to go up and I'm just going to add some grass. So I'm going to start, I'm starting on my tape and just going up. And you can do this any way you want to. You don't have to do it. Okay, and that's it. What do y'all think? Let's see if I can put this off without getting tearing the paper too bad. But I've had this on a day or two. I just think been able to film. I've had all kinds of Now, like I said, this is, I would not sell this at all. I wouldn't even give it away. This is just a practice. I call, what I call practice on a piece of paint, um, piece of newsprint. I just want to see how well the newsprint did with these fe uh, Federal Castell Classics. You can, it's, it's not as vibrant as I wanted. But it's still a nice piece. I mean, I mean, you know, everybody has their own way of doing things or how they want it to look. I, I like the um, prism corners when I'm doing a sunset. Like I said, these is great when you're doing layering. Then you can go back in with your uh, prism corners or another a set of color, you know oil based pencils and really get it vibrant that's my opinion I mean take it with a grain of salt <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video give us a thumbs up if you did subscribe and share the video with somebody and have a blessed day bye